So let's go over multi-genre artifacts. Um, what's really good, cool about this is that this is where you get to be creative with this assignment, okay? I want you to think of every genre as a category or a type of expression, okay? So once you do the traditional essay, you're going to have to create artifacts um, from four other genres to supplement or enhance the information that you've learned. So, big thing here, you are not going to be using the same information you used in your research paper and recycling it and making it into a new form. You are adding something to this project, okay? This is something new that you would be presenting to your audience. These artifacts are something that you are going to create. You, are, you should be the one that is constructing them yourself. Be creative here. Think outside the box, okay? Um, I should not see a link to a article about AA Melanie and then calling it a day. That's not an artifact that you've created, okay? That would be something that you research, but not something you created. You need to choose from at least three different categories, okay? And you want your pro you want your project to be diverse and interesting, okay? Um, bef before each artifact, you need to have a caption that explains it. Four to five sentences is plenty, but you need to explain why you chose the specific text type to create and what you're hoping to show, express, or convey here, okay? If you don't see an idea uh, that, or if you have an idea and you don't see it here, just ask me about it. It's probably fine. Um, just make sure that you get that approval before you start creating something. So there are six different categories here that you can select from. And remember, you need to make sure that you're choosing from at least three different categories. And something that's also important, do not create two of the same thing from each category. So I shouldn't see um, two newspaper articles or um, two advice columns. You need to make sure that you're picking th uh, three different categories for your um, for your uh, multi-genre artifacts. All right. Um, so let's go over in detail the the categories. So one category is journalism, and you could write a newspaper article, you could write an obituary, a magazine article, or even an advice column. So this could be really cool if you're thinking about your big topic and your author. There's a lot of creative things you could do here. You could create a visual with words. You could create an advertisement or a cartoon or a comic strip. Um, and you could even cre create character training cards. Make sure that you're checking out these links that are in the assignment. Lots of good resources here. You could create a visual map a display, such as a collage or a drawing or a painting. So if you're somebody who is feels creative, um, you could use that. Uh, make sure that if it's a photograph or a photo collection, it has to be something that you, again, have personally created. Informational, you could do it. You could write an interview. Maybe you could write a, an interview interviewing the, um, the author. You could write a speech or an FAQ sheet, so something informational. If you are somebody who likes to be creative, um, you could make a one-act play, you could create a poem, um, you could do descriptive writing about a relevant person or place, make sure that you're showing, not telling. And this one is really exciting. This is the digital category, and this is where you can create videos, or maybe you can create an infographic, or maybe even a text message conversation. Uh, you always see those funny... Uh, uh, memes that have like text between like the Justice League, all the members in the Justice League and what they would say. What would, for example, A. a. Milani said if he was in, having a text message conversation? So you could have a lot of fun with this. Okay? That is what, that is the big focus here. Learn but enjoy it. Alright? Then the last thing you're going to do here is you're going to create a Dear Reader letter. And this is going to be written last, but it's going to be the first item in your book after your front cover. 
And this is a personal letter from you and your reader. And you are literally going to start with, dear reader, and close the letter with sincerely and then your full name. This letter is a guideline for your readers, and um, you're basically introducing them what is going to be to come and what they should know before they read your digital book. You see these often in books from authors. This is yours, okay? Um, it should consist of three to four strong, solid paragraphs that capture your journey with this assignment and what you hope your reader gets out of your ebook. Discuss some of the following ideas. You could say why you selected the, the topic or what what uh, what you were hoping to learn and what you did learn, uh, what was something that was the most surprising or interesting thing that you learned. It doesn't have to be all of these things on here, but um, you should be striving to write enough to get those three to four strong par solid paragraphs, okay? Um, here's how you're going to attack this project. The first thing you're going to need to do, I did give you a digital uh, a video overview of the digital book project, but make sure that you take the time to review it again and get a sense of what you're doing and just so you can get that big picture. Then decide on your topic. It's a, it's a big, the big topic as well as the author focus. And then you're going to complete the, the assignment, the digital book choice top, topic choice. You, do, you don't have to wait until Friday to get that submitted. You can submit that ahead of time. And then you're going to get the traditional essay written and turned in. You're going to make sure that you're finding quality resources. Um, Info Ohio is a great starting point. Um, they, um, they have, if you need help understanding how to access Info Ohio, make sure that you go on the web page uh, or the assignment page and click the link. There's a great amount of help there. You make sure that you're Get and create MLA citations for sources that you might use. Trust me, as you're just create those citations as you are researching. It's sometimes it's it's so much harder to go back and get all that information, but if you get it right away, um, then you just have to organize your work site. It's a lot easier. Take notes all semester. I have been telling you to take notes and encourage you to do annotations. You want to take notes uh, so that way you know what you want to use when you're writing your traditional essay. Think in terms of categories. So it could be author bio, author's works, the time period in society, or the big topic. Um, you could even write these down on paper or index cards. However you feel most comfortable. Um, however you feel most comfortable creating um, your notes, okay? Categorize it, categorize it in a way that you understand, but that way, but in a way that you can organize those important ideas and the information that you pull out of your sources. Um, and then start organizing notes and start writing. Use the project overview document to help, okay? The top of page three has information about the tra tra traditional essay, and the overview document also has links that are very helpful. Um, once you get that essay submitted, then you've got a few weeks to work on those four multi-genre artifacts. Make sure you're giving a caption to each one. Remember, you need to use at least three different categories, and you can't do the same thing twice. And then write your Dear Rita letter and polish your project, okay? Um, want to go over the timeline real quick with you? Something I want to make sure you understand before... I send you off to work on your project. Here is the timeline that you are going to ha have for this project. This week, get that project introduced. Then you've got spring break, March 26th to the 30th. April 2nd through April 6th, you're going to be writing that traditional essay. April 9th to the 13th, you're going to work on your multi-genre artifacts. Remember, you need four. Then, we're going to start backed up with reading and going into uh, the 20th century with um, our literature. It is going to be up to you to work independently to finish your project. The project will still be due on April 27th. I'm going to be giving you three full weeks of class time plus spring break to work on this project. 
then, uh, but then you're going to have an additional two weeks while we're working on other things to, to, to polish it up and finish it up. So, as I said earlier in the part one video, you do not want to wait on this. You need to make sure that you are consistently working on this so you can pass. Okay? If you have any questions at all, just ask. Thank you so much and good luck!